Dating back as far as 300 BC, women have been braiding their hair. There are many benefits to braiding your hair, such as protecting it from damage, tangles, and it's also a great way to express yourself. I learned when I was 10 years old how to French braid hair, and I have yet to forget the skill. Today, I'll demonstrate how to French braid somebody else's hair, and by the end of this video, you should feel more confident about French braiding another person's hair, and maybe know a little bit more about the benefits of braiding your hair. For this instructional speech, I used two resources that were websites. One was the benefits of learning to braid your hair from Ahmed Beauty, and the second resource was five reasons why braiding your hair is a blessing in disguise from Health Shop. To do a French braid, you're going to need two regular hair ties, something to part the hair with, like a parting brush, and then a comb or brush if the hair is tangly. The first thing you want to do is split your participant's hair in half down, going with their hair um, part down the back of their head like so. So next you're gonna take a small section from the front of the head and split that section into three. Then you're going to take the middle section and put it under the outside section. And then you're gonna do the same with the other outside section. Then you're going to take a piece of hair that's not in the three and add it to the outside. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you're going to want to make sure to keep all of these pieces tight so you don't lose any in the braid. And then as you can see, I'm just repeating the process over and over. And you want to make sure you're keeping track of all of your pieces. You're going to continue this all the way down the head. You don't have any hair left to add to the braid you're going to simply do a regular braid until you are down to the end of the hair. You have no more hair left to braid. You're gonna take the hair ties that I showed you guys before and you're just going to tie it off like this. And then you're gonna repeat the exact same steps on the other side of the head. And if you did it correctly, you should have two nice braids going all the way around your head. Thank you. I hope this video helped you learn how to French braid somebody else's hair and may make you feel a little bit more confident about trying it out on someone else. Um, some things you want to keep in mind when braiding the hair is to keep the strands nice and separate. If you start to lose them and not keep them separate, then the braid is not going to be like a three strand braid. It might turn into a two or four strand braid. And then also to keep the pieces nice and tight, when you start to loosen them, that's when you start to lose them and you'll start getting bubbles and have the French braid not looking how it's supposed to look. But I really hope this helped you understand a little bit more about French braids, why they're important, and why you should try it out. And thank you guys for watching.